if you're eating really small amounts of protein, yes. like 20 grams at a time, you're not going to get muscle protein synthesis. The liver basically takes first dibs on the protein and undergoes gluconeogenesis. It's just going to make glucose out of protein. Okay, so Dr. Atiyah is awesome, but this is probably his worst take ever. The comment section was confused as they should be. I mean, what does he mean by a small amount of protein at a time? Like if I eat 20 grams at a time every hour of the day, I'm certainly going to stimulate protein synthesis. But even if I just ate 20 grams a couple times throughout the day, I will still stimulate muscle protein synthesis to a degree. There's no magical protein quantity that acts as an on and off switch for gluconeogenesis. Any quantity of protein you intake will be partitioned based on the body's needs. If you're fasted, some protein will be turned into glucose. But if you've eaten carbs and you're not starving, some protein will still be turned into glucose, but gluconeogenesis will be downregulated. Okay, so the liver, it won't just hijack all of your protein for glucose. Some amino acids like leucine, they never even go to the liver. So the latest research indicates that you don't have to worry about how much protein you eat in one sitting. Once you exceed 40 to 50 grams in one sitting, the excess just goes into gluconeogenesis. So like I said, the newest literature, it says otherwise. There's no upper limit. The more protein you eat, the more protein synthesis. Does it slow down? Maybe gluconeogenesis speeds up? Yeah, but again, when it comes to something as complex as the human body, it's very rare for sharp on-off switches to occur. Gluconeogenesis, protein synthesis, even ketosis. These are metabolic dimmers with thresholds and, and gradual transitions. Your body is smart, so you don't have to overcomplicate things. So for all your supplement needs, that information you are looking for is in the Natty Plus cheat sheet in the description below. Peace.